No hat, no conversation. I'm feeling festive. Please tell me you were here to surprise me with a big fat Christmas check. Oh, nice try. I'm told you I'm not investing in the factory. It'd be like going backwards. Come on. Hat, tat, tat. What are you doing here? Did you not go home? I missed everyone. I want to take my family out for Christmas lunch. I'm already booked. Bistro. Oh, oh, joy. Last time I was in there, I got dumped. I'm a shiny new husband. Is everybody going? Yep, uh, Jenny's mine host, Dad's mine debit card. Ah, in that case, put me a seat, will you? Only don't tell him. I'd like to make an entrance. Suit you that. Useful tips. Next year, I'll be hosting without the aid of a bistro. Oh, in Spain. Ooh. Can I come? Oh, I'll fly you over specially, Rita. First class. Right, drinks while you're waiting for one more. One more what? Well, I've got you down a six. Five? I spoke to you myself. Yeah, but then Aiden uh, called. Do we get to keep it, Sir Cracker? No, you do not. Joe, step away from that cracker and put your hands where I can see you. Carla, Hello. what did you get here? Oh, just now. Oh. You know, you never said you were coming. Well, I like to keep you guessing. Yeah, I'm working. Why didn't you text? I could have got cover. It's too late now, isn't it? Well, I just, you know, it was all a bit last minute. Bottle of fizz when you're ready. Uh, well, I was just about to order some. Oh, don't worry. I'll do it, Jenny, love. <laughs> oh, bottle of uh, fizzy water and all for me. Whoa. I'm driving. Oh, oh, stop. In this bag. So in this bag, I have got the best that the M6 Tor Road could offer. <laughs> Rita, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, forget me, love. Sit down. I'm an interloper. Look, you stay put, Rita. You are not the interloper. Eddie, hey, baby. Cheer up. It's Christmas! So come on, you must have some goss. No gorgeous girls making your heart leap and you don't... Well, no, so don't even finish that sentence. Why do you feel like you're hiding something from me? Where's your hat, Aiden? They ripped. All them brains. Or just a big head. I'll tell you what, he goes throughout this one. Why don't you put mine on again? Because it suited you this morning, isn't no, it? No, Tad. Oh, come on. No, no, just stop it, Carla. Aiden. I've had it up to here with your moodiness. Look, she doesn't just decide how I have to behave. Nor do you. See ya. I'm, I'm getting, getting this. this. You chuck your cash around when it makes you feel good, don't you? To both of you. Not when it might actually make a difference. Oh, not the factory again. You know about that? You treat me like I'm incompetent. Like I'm asking for charity. <laughs> Would you have dismissed it if my dad had come to you first? Of course not. You know, I'm this close to making a huge deal. You'd make money from my hard work. Here. This is what he could have won. I'm sorry that it's not gift wrapped. Okay, I mean, why else have the contract handily in his pocket? Well, <laughs> you know, Aiden. If he's got someone on his mind, he'd carry it everywhere. Yeah, well, if it was such a banker, you'd have bailed him out yourself. I would. But getting my diagnosis, it's changed everything. I've got to make the most of every day that I'm fit and healthy. Which is why I know if your family needed something. I don't know how long I'll be well. Or how long Jenny will have to live with me sick. I need to give her the best of me while I can. I do believe... Aiden would make that factory work. He hates that he's pulled those people out of jobs. He wants to put things right. You'd be the same. Hmm. Hey, yeah. That's better than out from the motorway service, isn't it? Ooh, what could this possibly be? A bottle of booze, maybe, from my bestie who runs a booze place? Well, I'm sorry I was snippy before. Snippy? Well, I just wish you'd told me you were coming, that's all, and we could have had a proper catch-up. We'll catch up now. Uh, work? I'll come with you. All right, come on to that, Johnny. She'll charge me for it. She'll forget she's given it. See you later. So, I suppose you'll still be expecting a free glass when we get to the bistro, will you, in spite of my present? No. Nope. Keeping my wits about me for once. Flippy neck. It's not the Carla we know and love. Are you here with some uh, secret hidden agenda? Well, it wasn't, but I think it might be now. So come on, tell me what really happened with that factory. Well, 